Hey y'all, Craters here. We're gonna play a little Space Engineers. We're getting back to Bork finally, finally. It's it's been an effort. <laughs> uh, it's been a long time. It's uh, from earlier uh, spring or late winter. <laughs> I don't even know if it's officially spring since the last time I actually recorded anything in this series, which is uh, I call Borked because we're pretty much Borked, screwed. Um, it, it's going to be, I don't know, I'm hoping it's going to be a long running series. Uh, I hope the interest is going to be there. I'm enjoying it. I like Space Engineers, honestly. There's a lot of aspects of Space Engineers that are that are fantastic. <laughs> so if I get my keys right up, I look at blind. You can see on your screen, which is what I see on my screen, minus the logo stuff, which we can eh, leave it there for a second while we intro the game here. There's a lot of things about Space Engineers I really like. Um, and I, I wish we could take Space Engineers and Imperiana kind of mash them together. I think that would be a fantastic game, but I, you can't do that. Two different companies, two different methodologies, two different code structures. It would be a nightmare, <laughs> but it would be a cool game. <laughs> uh, what is this one? Yeah, it would be. <laughs> no, that's being pissed off. That's what some days I feel about Imperion. Ah, God bless it. Why? Why does this stupid game do this crap? <laughs> uh, but it, don't take me the wrong way. I like spin. Space Engineer. I like I like Imperion as well, uh, or else I wouldn't play it. If I didn't like it, I wouldn't play it. It wouldn't go on the channel, but sometimes it just makes... <laughs> but enough of that. Let's go ahead and get this stuff off the screen. Flip our viewpoint. But hey, folks, glad to have you here. I appreciate it. And I uh, hope you uh, like this series as much as I do. This is only episode five. We're just getting started because... These episodes for Space Engineers, they actually take me quite some time to do. We have some minor changes that I will tell you about. We have some new things, which is part of the heavy industry update, which came out fairly <coughs> recently, <coughs> a little bit ago, <coughs> uh, which includes a bunch of nice new looking blocks, which I would like to make use of. Like this, this large industrial cargo container looks fabulous and this vertical button panel i love it and then we got actual piping conveyor piping piping what we don't have is a t i would really love a t king blue a t give us a t <laughs> they're not gonna listen to me and we got these things too the cylindrical columns which is really cool and you can see it's all grouped with walls and interior blocks so that's awesome and uh we got a new industrial hydrogen tank and it looks like an actual tank it's the the details they've gone into that and this thing and this thing here the industrial assembler and the refiner's been redone uh that's a conveyor sorter that's part of the 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 piping stuff here and these beam blocks we're gonna make you put those to use like right away so we gotta find we gotta clean up our toolbar reorganize it and do some things like that which i'll do off camera i won't bore you with all of that crap uh so like right here i did clean up uh uh, uh toolbar one and a little bit of toolbar two well actually most of it so you can see i got the beam blocks ready to go cylindrical columns uh the steel catwalks the gridded catwalks and the normal light armor blocks it's this one and so on we got to work on from there but and we'll just change things out as we use them it's fine uh sometimes i have got all the way to eight all set up for things to go but the buttons can be kind of hard to reach and nine of course control bar nine or the toolbar nine is what all these these avatars are on uh, these uh emotes as they call them and i do have the dlc it's like four bucks for the industrial up actually most of the dlcs have been like four dollars and i like the game i'm happy to support them out of my own pocket it's 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 fine i mean the actual game didn't cost that much it's like 25 or 30 dollars on steam and another four or five dollars for uh i mean that's less than a cup of coffee and the... we we also changed some other things out because uh some of the mods in the past uh they kind of got messed up with the uh, heavy industry update um just a little bit and uh let's get our regular toolbar up. we got pistols now uh we knew that from the combat update thingy uh oh we got a smuggler satisfied abductor <laughs> what <laughs> i'm i not well he's flying away it's fine 
It's fine. We don't have an antenna on this thing, although that's you can see our 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 thingy up there. That is a, a beacon. So supposedly the mods I'm using that is producing all of these factions and ships and uh, visitors around the area, <clears throat> and that uh, going to try to kill us at some point. If you have an antenna, you're going to attract their attention much more quickly. Whereas if you have a beacon, they don't bother you so much. So the plan in this episode, if it comes to fruition, which I am going to work like, like, like gangbusters to do, my plan is I'm going to build the garage. I am going to build the housing. Well, it's going to be an open air garage. This is my plan. So what I want to do is make use of these beam, new, these nice new blocks, maybe the columns, but we also got these light plates, uh, light armor panels and light armor, heavy armor panels, plus the new beam blocks. We, that's uh, between the, probably these two is going to be the primary um, building blocks of this whole facility. I kind of have an idea of what I want to do. So at one end is going to house the little miner there. And at the other end is we're probably going to put that vehicle there and that rover there, which is our sacrificial rover when we go and tackle one of these, um, well, not a flying object. Uh, it doesn't fly, so that's out of the book. But like the scouting outpost or this observation, oh, a gnome signal. A far away. Three-ish kilometers by the time it gets on the ground. Probably be 2.8-ish. Two and a half-ish. We might have to go get that. I like I, I like the unknown signals. Stuffs! You know me. I like the stuffs. But nothing else has really changed in here. Uh, this, I don't know if it's ki probably kind of hard to see. If we turn that off, it might be easier to see. The hologram here I might make this, which is kind of a dropship thing. I found it on the, in the... Um, um, workshop and uh, we might put that for use for our first time going up in space because we got to get off this planet we really do but we need to make sure we got a home base to come back to right a very solid foundational home base with some good storage some good refiner capabilities although it's got the one refiner in there i may have added the flame thing on top that is actually directly on top of the refiner and then we got our power tower out there ready to go i know it's nighttime currently but uh it's sooner or later it will turn today. It was raining right before I started this recording, but it did clear up right when I started, which is like unheard of. Uh, no, I don't, uh, no, no, get this. And um, um, who do we got over here? I forgot his name, Dave, Dave, yeah, we, uh, oh wow, Craters, now I see what you've been going on about. Worth it. Thanks for the invite, babe. Dave? Oh yeah, my character my character is a is a gal. <laughs> is a gal. Hence the babe. <laughs> uh, better looking than the male character, I think. Just my two cents. We're rocking some new armor that came with the combat update. I think we got the combat armor on. It's what I believe. Yeah, I, I think that's the combat armor. And uh, it's looking pretty good. I did change color, just a nice good gray. <laughs> it's just great. I I might I'm kind of blend into the floor, don't I? If I crouch down, can you all see me? Is this kind of active camouflage thing? No, no, it's not working. I, I didn't think so. All right, let's get busy. I have a plan. I have a plan. And we have got to get to the things. Wolves are still a thorn in my side. And uh, we got to we gotta get somebody over here. We got to get some more personnel. Might have to turn on some lights here. All of this is going to go. I think I mentioned that early on, probably episode, well, after I built this. this. This is all temporary. Always was temporary. It always was going to be temporary. And it's got to go. Maybe even bring him back these stairs back a little bit. But I like it a little bit long because when the, I mean, that's one way the wolves come up is up, up these stairs right here or up that landing, that ramp right there. Uh, so, I, you know, having this little bit of length where I can shoot them with one of the guns, um, it helps whether they're not biting on our heels or our behinds and but all all of this stuff is going to go it is is gonna be gone we got to get rid of it we also got to bring in a friend um a very good friend he's a, a great helper is uh, well known in the space engineer community we can shut the lights off inside and uh so bob got retired um bob bob had to leave 
he, he couldn't put up with Dave over there. Dave was just too much for him to handle. So we got this guy here. He's actually a contracts dealer, um, but it, it, he's kind of, I don't know. Uh, it was the one thing that was available in the mod that has that, you know, these guys come from uh, that has, you know, he's, he's got his, his Clang Cola and a couple tablets and then some credit things there and a couple more tablets. Uh, so I can't name them. Uh, I can I can go in the admin section here and add contracts and stuff. So I got a repair contract I just threw in there. I don't know what for. I, I just, just had to have something in there. Um, but. I'll look again, see if maybe the mod's been updated, if I could get a guy sitting at a table like this and have some kind of things like that. That would that would be cool. That would be great. And and not be able to... Oh, he's got a toolbox back here. He, as well. I thought I heard a wolf. <laughs> they really are a thorn in my side. I, I, I've been... Uh, planning my uh, garage on a on a different save, so I didn't disrupt this one. And while I was trying to plan the build for the garage, I I ah, uh, oh, pain in the butt, pain in the butt. So what I'd like to do, just to give you an idea, and then I'm gonna jump into it. I'm gonna try to make a time lapse of this stuff, which I can do now. I can do those things if I remember how. <laughs> It's been a few months, <laughs> but I want this catwalk to come straight out and uh, go to the um, to the thing. And we're going to change this uh, conveyor tubing. We're going to change all that over to piping. We might move it over into this corner. Did I, did I just like jump up on the railing over in this corner if we can? And then this the two container um, large containers down here, I would like to change out to the industrial ones. And as well as the uh, refiner here, but as you can hear, hopefully, if the aim sounds are loud enough, you can hear that this thing is going gangbusters, and it's got a lot of stuff to chew through. But by the time we're done with the garage build, then it might be done. So if we look in here, hide the empty stuff, there is an ores... No, that's the that's the other thing. Um, or so it's yeah, we got 45k worth of cobalt, which is takes a long time to process. We got another 32k of silicone to chew through. Right now it's doing this uh, silicone and manganese, uh, magnesium, um, manganese, magnesium, mg, <laughs> mg craters. Remember your scientific symbols. You you are an engineer. You use these things all the time, especially in my industry. Um, but at, uh, so I want to change this out. I want to change the two containers out in here to the new ones. I would like to be able to change the hydrogen tank out, but that's going to be a little tricky because we have to, we'll have to put a temporary tank somewhere, get all the hydrogen out and stick it over there and then change the tank and bring it back. The problem is the new one has a port on the bottom, a port on the top, which is fine because that's how we are connecting to the main the main base over there uh, and it's small cargo containers that are over there uh, and the, the oxygen and the and the uh, and the, uh, the oxygen that's over here and the hydrogen that's how all of that is getting over there is through our little setup on the top there which I'll show off again here in a second but the new tank does not have any side uh, ports has none. It's only the top and bottom. Only the top and the bottom. Not the top and the bottom. The top and the bottom. <laughs> Oops. Uh, so right currently our backup hydrogen engine in case our solar, our, our power tower fails us for some reason. I love a game that you can crouch in. If that fails us, which I don't see it doing so, it, it's been working great so it's not hasn't been a hasn't been a thing all the batteries i think are charged uh but uh, most of the batteries are underground so we got to be careful um so if we change out to the new tank then this thing's got to go um and then where's it got to go to we can put it in the garage that would actually be a logical place to put it 
as well as a good place to put it. Uh, we could also probably stick it... How long is that? Is that like two blocks long? I know it's got the ventilator on top there, which doesn't do anything because this building's not airtight, unfortunately. Uh, we could probably maybe stick it down here. Um, and the new containers, they also don't have all six ports, one on each side. They have four ports kind of basically span in the middle, and I'm going to lay them kind of on their side. So there's one port here, one down there, one here, and one up there. And I'm going to do the same thing here on this one. So these things are going to lose connectivity, but we're going to use the new piping and kind of just pipe it over and run the piping underneath the, the graded catwalk there to get every make sure everything's connected up except for this one there, which we might change out. That conveyor junction is not being used and it causes a you know causes a little bit of lag. We might change that out for a standard block and just get rid of it. And if we do that, we might change right under oh uh, then this would be a conveyor junction. <gasps> oh I missed that one signal and there's a new one that's even closer. Better yet. Been flapping my jaws for too long. So then I can run the piping, run the connection piping, um, conveyor piping, straight out, right into for the garage to access the garage. And this whole setup for the uh, little miner there is actually going to be like right, right in this general area. Our problem is, is that uh, meteor strike impact there. It's kind of in the way of how we're going to do things. 900 meters. Oh, I'm running over there to get that. I'm not even going to take a vehicle. Um, so uh, I, I'm going to push the building out a little bit. So I like the first leg might be right here. Not to mention that our uh, tie-in to the power tower starts right below this block. Uh, so right below this block, there's a, 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 a tower of uh, light armor blocks it goes down goes that way goes that way and then goes up to the power tower that's how that is there i tunneled underground to get all of that take connected so yes that's gonna go our garage is going here each bay per se is gonna be basically five blocks wide and we're gonna make it like i said out of uh these things these beam blocks Look at that. Look at that. How do you, how do I zoom the thing in? All right. Well, I don't know how to do it. Um, so, yeah, we're going to play with these things. And uh, there we go. That's a closer look at it. Uh, eh. We're going to keep it nice and simple, right? And uh, But it's going to take some time to build. And I've already spent 20 minutes talking about it. So I'm going to get busy. But I have got some preparation to do before I get busy. Like I gotta, I want to set up my second account so it can record from like here-ish or maybe like that. Oh yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> I've been looking for the perfect spot to do this from, so we can I can get a time lapse and then as I'm working on things, I can also talk about things too. Uh, but yeah, I got some prep to do before I do all that. We got to get vehicles sorted, make sure everything's charged up. Um, that one vehicle, uh, this thing right here, the LARV, um, is kind of a pain because it has the side connectors on here and it's really tight. It's really not meant to be connected, uh, cause you got a block there. It's kind of obstructing things. And that is symmetrical. It's on both sides. It's really not meant to use the connectors. But we are going to do it anyway. And I got a little trick that I kind of figured out. There's probably a better way to do it. But uh, I, I got a little trick. It, it, it works, but it's really kind of picky. <laughs> if you park the truck, the LARV, then it's got to be parked in a very, very specific spot or it doesn't work. So, and I'm not sure how to overcome that right now, unless we convert to a small grid setup, but the small grid connector really isn't small grid. It's, it's as big as that. Well, that is it, actually. <laughs> I say that this is the small grid connector <laughs> of course because it's got to be able to connect to the large grid connectors right 
Like that's a small grid connector right there, right there on top of the SG, SGT. Yeah. And yeah, it connects to the large grid connector and there's no other thing, right? So yeah, I got had to figure out a way, how can I get this in here without taking up a gigantic amount of space? Because if I put a piston on there, the piston is two blocks, at least two blocks tall, uh, maybe even taller. So it would stick out here at least two blocks, probably four blocks away. So I would have to start back here-ish to have something that would connect. Well, that doesn't fit in something that I'm going to park in a five wide space. And this is basically three blocks wide. Uh, it's about as, it, it's not, it's a, where it's greater, it's a little bit narrower than the SGT here. A little bit. The SGT is a little more than three blocks wide, which is why I decided on five blocks wide, um, because of this thing right here, which I, I'm not getting rid of it. I have to has it. Now, of course, the little miner here is not that wide, and uh, but we and we also want a some kind of space to put some other things, and I, I have some thoughts on that too, how we're gonna do that, because especially in this one, because this is side connected, we can park something above it. Yes, the garage is going to be that big. Well, tall. Sort of big. So it's going to be at least 15 blocks wide. <clears throat> it's going to be wider than that. Uh, it should be about 19 blocks wide at two and a half meters per block. So that would be uh, mass. I'll do them later. I'm not, I can't think today. <laughs> Today's Saturday. I got things. I, 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 got, I, I got stuff to do. <laughs> um... So, uh, maths, maths, no, not doing the maths today. Um, so, I, we, we don't need five blocks for this thing. We don't need five blocks for that thing. But the con to be able to connect to this, is we kind of need it, if not more. Actually, more. This one is relatively easy because I did make sure the connector is in the on the rear there, which makes it as simple as long as I can fly inside the building. And the building will have a roof on it, so I won't be able to fly down into it. I have to fly in actually into it and then we want to ramp on this side which is going to be somewhere the sgt bay is going to be almost lined up with the middle of that thing well kind of sort of but you know what i'm saying <laughs> and then this is going to be parking over here somewhere and that's what i'm saying this is in the way in my oh hello <laughs> oh hello where where why why is the cleanup thing not doing the cleanup thing uh, and what vehicle did I stick down in here? Probably the SGT. Um, so this me meteor strike, uh, long story, long, long winded way of coming back around to this is smack in the way of where the building's going to be. So I might shift the building. So we just cover this thing up. I might have to get rid of this hump here and kind of flatten that out. But, um, let me get prepared. I'm going to take that hump away. We are going to let the uh, refiner do its thing. Oh, before we go, let's fly over here and not run face first into it. Uh, I also want to replace some of this structure with the beam blocks because I really think it would look better. Like this part here, these, these up supports here and these cross supports, definitely changing with the beam blocks. And Sam said for these up there now much higher than that i think we're good um i think we're okay on i forgot i painted that, <laughs> that color <laughs> i forgot <laughs> looks good though <laughs> uh this is our izzy's uh solar alignment script and programmer block this got the script loaded into it this is what is aligning all of our power tower Wind turbine, or not the wind turbines, the uh, solar, solar thingy, mid bobbies, uh, what are they called? <laughs> the solar arrays. That's what's taking care of all that alignment stuff for us. And of course, we got wind power as well, and uh, so we got, we we got stuff. Oh, you know what? We could change out. We could use the new, the new cylinder columns instead of the not built wheels. Hmm, that, that would look good. Wouldn't be able to attach the rotors to it, so. Th 
Uh, maybe we could. Science. Ooh! Space engineer science. I, I must find out the things. Uh, park that there. Uh, do I got a rotor on a bar somewhere? I do. I uh, probably do. I don't care. Give me a rotor. What should be that right there? <gasps> no. <gasps> oh. What? Oops. I was my face was in the way. <gasps> that will attach to the side of that? Oh the possibilities. Oh my word. Keen, I love ya. Ha 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 That's a thing. How I guess it uh uh I don't care. Oh, the square block could go? Does that... Uh, the, uh, can, uh, 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 I'm speechless. I, my, my words have been lost. Does that mean all of these can go and I can use those cylindrical blocks to redo this whole thing? <sighs> no. I could even change this one out. Well, how would that look? It'd probably look killer. It'd probably look awesome. <gasps> oh my. Well, all right. That just added more work to our plan, our our schedule. Oh boy. <laughs> I got a lot of work to do, folks. And I was thinking about changing these, but actually I, I like them. I like these uh, unbuilt wheels, this, this kind of, this kind of, texture here and blah 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 and i always been wanting to change these wheels out here to that same thing but like this one under the stairs it might look a little weird so we might change those over to columns as well and i gotta figure out a better way to tie this in because um our friend remember our friend you know i started talking about a new friend we're gonna bring into the game a long long time ago i i am this is like a 30 minute introduction I, why do I do this every time? Because I love this game. <laughs> We're going to bring in a friend at some point. He's going to help us with building the garage. Um, he might screw us on some other things. But that friend is going to be none other than... Um, I don't have him on a toolbar. All right. None other than what is famously known in the Steam community as Bob, which is why Bob had to retire. He could not deal with another Bob in the program. You know, he just couldn't deal with it. He says, no, Craters, I got to go. We can't have two Bobs. So Bob is gone. That's Steven in there, if I didn't formally introduce you there. Sitting at the desk, that is Steven, although I can't name him and do stupid text conversations with him like I do with uh, Dave over there and former Bob, because uh, uh, we get this stuff, eh, eh, whatever. Whereas Dave over here, you know, he's kind of got these, these goofy interactions that I can do to kind of, I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just trying to make it more entertaining, I guess. I'm entertaining myself, which hopefully isn't, that's close by too. We're going to get it. Um, it's entertaining you. But we're bringing in Bob, which is formally, or uh, formally, um, which is called the, no, uh, just this guy, <laughs> the build and repair system. Uh, most of the YouTubers, they call him Bob, but we are going to bring him in finally because I need help. I need help in the worst kind of way. And Bob is a, as hence the description there, is a build and repair system. He grinds slower than your engineer does. He welds slower than your engineer does. He won't place blocks. You got to place the blocks and you got to connect your inventory to one of his three ports. There's one on the bottom too. 
Um, there it is. If I can sneak him up there. Oh, I'll go outside and do it. Oh, excuse me. I need some water. I've been flapping my jaws for too long here, and I need a sip of water. So he's got ports on three sides there, the bottom and the, and the front and the back. And, uh, and we'll place them against the wall here. So he does have labels. I don't know if you can see that there. Front, down, rear. There is a left and a right, which is kind of hard to see there. Uh, if I place them here, now we can see it. There it is. Left and right. That's easier to see. So Bob will help you build stuff. He's like a second pair of hands, really. But he's got a certain radius that you can work in, which you can adjust. And I think it's up to two meters. Problem is, Bob has been broken. The original mod of the Nanobot Build and Repair System has been broken with the uh, recent Heavy Industry update. So this is by somebody else, which takes care, who was so kind as to uh, pick up the slack, because we I don't know if the original author is going to fix this, fix the original Bob, I don't know. But this one is a bit more expensive than the original one, which is fair, because Bob is kind of a little overpowered. So costing a lot more materials to build the Bob is, is, is fine. Like 800 superconductors. I don't know if you can see that over there with the, uh, with the, the unknown signal hanging over. Can I, can I get rid of that? Turn them off. There we go. Now you can probably see it. 800 superconductors, uh, a hundred large steel tubes, interior plates, a ton, 1200, uh, steel plates, 800 construction components. He takes a lot of materials, folks. That's a lot of materials. But this is Bob. Uh, Bob's going to help us build the things. And Bob is going to live uh, basically right here, right where this grate is, right underneath the SGT there. Uh, that That is the small grid Bob. But we're going to use the large grid Bob, of course. And he's going to live right there. And we're going to connect him to this piping here. Ow. I don't know why that thing... We got an unknown signal to go get. Let's go get it. All right, we're going to see you in a second, folks. And uh, I'm going to take care of the things and uh, get all the preparations made and uh, and uh, get the second account set up at some point. And uh, I'm going to edit this down so it's not a 45-minute long intro. You know what? I think we're first going to redo the power tower. That's going to be... That's going to look so good. <laughs> see you in a second, folks. Okay, I've been sitting here at the conference table trying to figure things out and make sure I got everything planned accordingly. And uh, I think first things first we're going to do uh, is tackle this over here. The uh, the the, the uh, uh, tubing that goes to the medical center over there, the medical thingy. And then we are going to tackle the... Uh, put the crosshairs back up if I can get them. Well, let's get off the table here. There's the crosshairs. And then we're going to tackle this right quick. And um, I was trying to set up my uh, uh, my camera uh, extra account, uh, my my Crater's cam, and uh, I'm, I'm having some difficulties at the moment, and uh, I'm, it, it keeps crashing the game. So I've gone back to the original. This isn't going to take a lot of work. I think the first person view will be just fine, and especially for this, this is not a big deal. So let's go ahead and get this let's cut out straight away. And this last one here. And let's, uh, I've already got the piping set up here. So we can get this right. It is even the same color. Pipe end. Is there a flanged? Yeah. Here we go. And then flip that around again. Nope. Not that one. This one. Here we go. And we're going to see how that looks. Welder on up. Now, I may decide to uh, go ahead and change this out to uh, something else besides this. Right now, it is uh, this 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 bluish color, which is the same on some of the blocks. And it is the neon colorable lights. Uh, so that's where you get this nice bright blue lines through it and the little glowy bits on the ends plus the, the green 
uh, LED parts telling you that it is connected properly and we can test that make sure we're getting our power yes we are and let's jump in here right quick because our tools and stuff are messed up let's get the kids pajama welder because that's always fun uh, policeman grinder because that's one I like uh, minor drill and the which soldier rifle all good to go hey oh look at that that looks cool <laughs> and a good old yep all right we're good to go uh, so that's changed out. The ones in here, in these corners, I might leave. They're kind of fit. But once again, I don't know about the the, uh, the texture. I might change that. I mean, I like the blue because, it you know, it kind of ties it together a little bit. I might change the whole thing to something else altogether just to... So it's not... I don't know. It just looks a little weird. And now <clears throat> we're going to cruise on up to the tower but we need we're gonna need a, a a box here and i don't really care what color it is it's only temporary so let's grab stuff for that and let's grab a bunch of stuff for these uh cylindrical columns so let's grab as much as that as we can there we go i think i'm missing some interior plate there but it's fine we'll get it figured out and we're gonna plop one of these down right up here. That's fine. Weld it up, because we need to, we need a temporary box. This is what? It did not. Darn it! <laughs> That's why I tried to pre-grab this stuff, so I didn't have to fly back and forth. There we go. And let's take whatever's in our pockets. Now we're gonna tear this thing down. Okay, and so we know we got I got a rotor there, four unbuilt wheels, and then plus a block, and then the two rotors are mounted to that block. So we're five above that rotor. But we're gonna change it up a little bit. But first things first, we gotta tear all this down and then rebuild it. Because we want to replace this with uh, the, the cylindrical blocks, replace that with the cylindrical, same on this side, and then the rest will pretty much stay the same. These are these centered blocks. This is a mod I'm using that uh, does this. And uh, if we go into the G menu here, uh, that is these things, these nano crystalline solar arrays centered are the ones I'm using because it centers them on there, which will work perfect for the cylindrical columns. But before we can do anything, this stuff's got to go. This is the off-road wheel, by the way, and it's almost nearly constructed except for large construction tubes. And the ones on the ground over there underneath the, the catwalk are uh, just steel. They don't have some of that other stuff in it. Inventory full. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Don't grind it anymore. Uh, there we go. All right. Now we can place some of these things. We did grab... Oh, let's take care of our texture we want that orange and i think what i used was the uh, retro future armor up here and but we got to grab the materials which i put a bunch of it in the box here here we go let's just grab a bunch of it and i'm gonna place one first and then we'll stick rotor on top of it because i think that's gonna look pretty snazzy uh let's change that turret out for a rotor Let's see, rotor, or change the wheel out. That's fine, whatever. And we're going to stick a rotor there. I'm going to turn it. Nope. So the zero is facing me. There we go. Weld this up. Uh-oh. There we go. And 
Then one, two, three, four. Do I want to do a fifth one? Right now, that is the the height at which it was. Hmm. Well, while I'm deciding on that, let's weld it up. Try not to whip the camera around too fast because, you know, anybody that suffers from motion sickness or something like that, it would be hard to watch. So I'm trying not to, but I'm, I know I'm not always going to be successful. I think one more. I'm thinking one more. Why not? And then, as we found out a little bit ago, which was a really short time ago for y'all, <laughs> we can, let's make sure we put them on the right side here, we can mount these things, let's grab the stuff for them, If you're wondering, I'm clicking on the middle mouse button while I stare into the box as this block is selected. I have it, you know, selected, ready to place, and then I just run over to the box to the access port on that middle mouse button, and it'll draw out the materials. And you can just keep clicking it for however many of them you need. That's one way to go about it. Or you can have the, you know, just the steel plate, the bottom thing over there on the right hand side of the screen. If you even got one steel plate, it'll let you place it. Of course, you won't have enough materials to build it, but eh. Oh, this is gonna look so good. Now, one thing to be aware of, it doesn't collect the material, or it didn't used to. It doesn't collect all the necessary materials to finish this off yet. See what I mean? Uh, because it's kind of an extra part. So we'll we'll right click on these, put it in the build planner. And there we go. Pull it on out. Cuz these are actually two separate parts. Uh, that's why it doesn't do that. It does sim something similar with pistons too. The end cap, well not the end cap, but the the end of the piston the thing on the end of the piston rod, the, uh, I don't even know what to call it, kind of a coupling kind of thing, it is uh, an extra part of the cylinder, so it won't pull all of the materials out. you got to do that a little bit extra. There is an unknown signal over there. I want to go get it, but I'm not going to. I'm refraining because we got to get this built. Uh, I think we don't have enough parts for this. Ooh. Yeah, okay. It's fine. Ow. It's just, uh, I need uh, one, two, three, four, eight. That should be enough, I think. Uh, I hope. I don't know. We'll find out. <laughs> Now, if you're, not, you're playing a in a in a series or a, a game where jetpacks are not usable, then uh, you're gonna have to find some other way up here. I would use I would use like my the little miner over there to do it. And just stand on top of it and move it around. It would work. But I'm using a jetpack. What's the point of being a space engineer if you can't use a jetpack? Although it would make things more interesting, that's for sure. And bam! How about that? And our inventory is cleaned up, isn't it? Yes, it is. Oh, we got 11%. We're going to go fill our uh, hydrogen bottle up. I looked at that. <laughs> Where we crash to the ground is I'm not really paying attention. And now we can put the the uh, the the the, the thingamabobbies back up. 
The solar panels. Yes. Words. Those are things I can use. And the centered ones, we'll just go ahead and place them right there. And we should have all of the stuff. Now, we'd probably get three at a time. Before, yeah, our inventory is full right there. It's fine. It is fine. And flip it that way. Why not? Nope, that way. I want the, the, uh, the main bit down on the bottom here. Let's go ahead and place one there. One there. And one... Actually, we could probably place them all and then come back and deal with that part. Right? That makes a lot of sense. I'm just going to fill up the inventory. That's what I'm trying to do. Oh, this is looking good. Three left, basically. Okay. And hopefully that box is empty. We don't have any spare parts. <laughs> that would suck. <laughs> that would be terrible. All right, let's have a back up and have a look at our progress here. And it's raining. I noticed it was raining. Why has it got to be raining? Do I need lights? I don't need lights. They're all green. And they're all getting sun. But we got to fix our, our programmer block over here. Because we kind of screwed it up when we tore everything apart. So we got to go in here. We got to find the rotors that we just placed, which is probably these three right here. And I'm going to go ahead and just name them all solar. All right, and highlight that so I can just go. Plop. Plop. And then we got to name them something special, like solar rotors. Uh, we got to put them in a special group. Sorry, I misspoke. And I think it is solar rotors, if I am not mistaken. And we can always check, go into the script here. We hit edit. And solar reference, solar rotors. I was right. So this is the group name. I could change that. It would be fine. But now the script should be running. Uh, warning, rotor, solar, VI. Can't see the sun. Add a solar panel or oxygen farm to it. Solar V1. Solar rot. Oh, I misspelled it. That does not help. Well, I'm an idiot. Aha. Well, there's my problem. All right, it should catch up. Align, there we go. It's it's going to take a, a little bit for it to, you know, figure out because we, we did everything for it to... I'm going to change this. For it to redo the whole scripting thing and track the sun and whatnot. And let's just... Let's put a nice image on here somewhere. Uh, yeah, you can hear him working. I don't know. Uh, one by two. Uh, spacewalk. Sure. Spacewalk Empire. When someone was outlawed, outlaws became kings. Okay. Keep the people sweet, placid, and a little bit hippie? <laughs> Is that what that says? All right. This should be empty. And it is not. All right, fine. Now the script should automatically line. It'll it'll probably take a few minutes for it to really get going here. But the sun is gone. Where's the sun? Where's the shadows? Sun is over. Oh, right there, in high in the sky. 
So is that kind of... Eh, it's getting there. See, it's still adjusting. It'll figure it out. It's fine. We'll just leave it alone. But oh my, that looks so much better. Now if there was like a rounded single block, is there? <laughs> is there a rounded? Well, that's like a quarter. I just want a single dome on top of the thing. Maybe there's something else we could put on top of there to make it look decent, like a laser antenna or a gyroscope that will actually serve no purpose whatsoever. Or maybe eventually a large reactor. Hmm. But I don't think there is a block decoil. How would that look? Probably weird. <laughs> I probably look weird. Okay, but that is done. And then uh, before we continue the garage and start building it, as you can see, I have not started. Uh, I am going to get my camera account working and uh, get it set up. I was trying it on my computer that is to my right, but I don't think it can really handle um, space engineers with the mods I got installed and running. Um, I think it's a bit slow. Yeah, it's not a gaming PC. It's just a standard laptop. And I thought I would could make it work. I do have OBS on it, and it, it just... I mean, the game's running fine now, but when I had it set for... Uh, uh, so I can invite my camera account, uh, Steam account, into the game, it would be okay for about eh, two minutes, and then it'd go, bleh, no. <laughs> Not gonna happen. I need to go there. That's the moon. Right. Is that the moon or is that Protam? I don't know. We need to get off this planet sooner or later. But like I said, we need a good foundational uh, base here with good storage or decent storage. We got, you know, two, the two big large uh, cargo boxes down below, which we need to change out. And uh, this thing, which is still going. Still going, still crunching through all kinds of silicone. I don't know what else is left. Uh, cobalt, oh my word. And another 10K in the in the cargo container. And then we got tons of ice. But we need the ice, that's for hydrogen. So we can keep our hydrogen tank full. Speaking of. There we go. Alright, so... I'll get things sorted, get things cleaned up, and uh, get prepared for starting the garage. So we got to tear this out first. And oh, that does. Even from here, where the textures really don't show up that much, it looks so much better. Let's let's take a let's, let's take a flyby in the little miner, just because we can. Thrusters. Oh, the puppies are back. I hear them. The wolves. Oh, look at it. Look at it. Oh, I'm liking these column blocks. That is so much better. Ooh, that's weird. Okay. Let's get rid of the stuff on the screen. Oops. Try not to run into it either. Oh, that does. It looks so much better. How? Mucho bien. Uh, that's about all I know. What is the blue line down there? I don't know. <laughs> Some weird thing. Oh! I probably shouldn't have flipped it that way. It doesn't have enough thrust to be able to maintain its position that way. All right, we can shut those down again. And we're going to need a weapon because I heard a wolf. Where are you? Come here. Sorry, buddy. You're a bad boy. <laughs> oh, my word. These wolves. These wolves. You know what I'm going to do right quick? Because I am just really sick of it. Um, grass density. I am going to crank this down to like 0.5.
Oh, that's better. And it's a lot less to render and a lot less for the game to have to handle. And we'll be able to see things like the wolves laying in the dense grass. <laughs> ah, I might even turn it down more. That's better. That'll be better for... What's going on up there? Yeah, the script will handle. It's fine. It's Izzy Solar Alignment script, if you didn't see that. I'm sure you did. Uh, it'll it'll catch up. It'll it'll do its thing wherever the sun is at. We can always check it. Run in here. And uh well this'll work. We can hit K on here and programming block. Solar. It's uh, aligning two horizontal rotors. So yeah, it, it's just catching up. It's fine. It'll figure it out. It's got a lot of calculations to do to figure all this stuff out. Earth base, main grid. Uh, oh, we can even build an LCD. Put another LCD in the place showing the status of that. Where would we put it? Hmm. That looks better. I'm not sure about the texture, though, but it does look better. I don't really have any place to put it. You know what? Could I do... Would that be a thing? ISA main. Right? Uh, there's a thing in here about that. Um... ISA Compact. Display compact stats made for small screens. Add the following keyword to any... Okay. Let's just control C that. Close it. And instead of the weather on here, could we do that? Oh. Uh, oh, uh, we'd have to probably do something weird. Probably have to put like custom data and do like do like this on the main screen. So there's 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 a way to do it. I'm just not sure what that is. Uh, and and this is the programmer that handles the the door airlock system. So uh, in case you didn't know, that's considered an airlock because of the double doors and the ventilator that is right there. And same on this side, and uh, right there. And then the rest of the doors around the place, including the one in the warehouse that handles all of those. Auto closes them so I don't have to think about it and my brain can not have to think about such things. I'm going to go get it. <laughs> Alright folks, we'll be back in a minute and uh, we'll, we'll get to see the rest of it. I think that looks pretty good though. I just change the texture. I'm going to play with the textures a bit. I think the textures uh, work good for, you know, th this kind of thing up here, but uh, maybe make them white. Can we do that right quick? Uh, or that off gray battered? Would that be okay? How's that look? Off gray. Off white. That's not bad. You know, kind of goes with the whole white that I got going on this thing. That. I gotta leave it there. See how I like it. Dave? Dave, how you doing, buddy? Everything okay? We're doing good over here. Did you see that sunrise? I hope you saw that sunrise, Dave. You got a much better seat now, so you better have seen that sunrise. Steve? I, I can't turn my head back that far. You know, I'll talk to Steve later. It was a good sunrise, though. It's a nice day. It's not a bad day at all. All right, folks. <laughs> Quit wasting time here. Uh, so we'll catch up here in a minute as we uh, get everything sorted out. Like I said before, and we'll get the, um, uh, get the camera count set up and actually running smoothly, I hope. And then we will start tearing things down and building up the garage. <laughs> 